Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Dashcraft. And in today's video, I'm going to show all of you guys that you should be able to make your own snipe command. And um, a lot of you guys recommended me to make this video in my in private DMs, in my Discord server. Which you can join, by the way. So you all wanted me to make a video about how to make a snipe command. So whenever someone deleted a message in the Discord server, you just have to go down and use a bot command. And then it will literally show the message that they deleted. And um, I'm, I said, okay, let's just go down and make a video about it. So here we are. Let's go and learn about it. There's nothing special you need to be worried about. You just have to know some basic of Discord.js. But before I actually start the video, I want you guys right now hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Turn on bell notifications if you want to get notified whenever I upload. And join to our Discord server if any problems through the video, because a lot of people actually does that. And uh, you can also comment in case, but I will not respond as soon as possible over there because you know the YouTube notifications are kind of messed up for me since I get a lot of the comments. So thank you guys. Um, comment down below. Join our discord server and i think that's pretty much it let's just get into the video so there we go i have my discord the bot that i have in here with the full code events fuller make sure you have everything organizing coding just a tip so you won't get tired whenever you're coding anyways so let's just go ahead and make a new command and call it snipe.js if you don't know what i'm doing here is basically i'm making a command and i'm using a command handler if you don't know what command handler is it's basically you don't have to go ahead and you know spam your whole index.js full of commands you just have to go ahead and make a command in your commands folder and will literally do everything for you so also you have to make sure that you have your model export that run i will always copy and pasting this uh because you know this is this is when we're gonna export this and the command name that we're gonna use so i'm gonna also call it command snipe so this is the where we're gonna use the code is basically inside of here if you want to know what the code is everything we're going to use in today's video is going to be inside up here and we're also going to go ahead and use the event uh for message delete since we're trying to get the deleted messages so we're just going to go ahead and first you know make our command which we did already we're going to go ahead and go to your message delete event so once we are here um if you don't know what the code is here as well it's basically a message delete event if you know what events are it's basically whenever something happens in discord where it's called we call it events so for example whenever a message edits on discord which we have something called message edit or something like that and whenever we add a reaction to our message it will be message reaction add or whenever we remove my reaction it will be message or message message reaction remove there's already events again i'm using a handler for that but in case you don't use the handler for that, then just go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, make the event and put the code inside of it. For now, I'm just going to show you guys uh, first. We have to make sure that you have a bot that snipes that set. So what this is going to do is basically whenever we delete a message, because we're using a message delete event, we need to also use message and bot. Well, you don't have to use bot since I mean another file. You don't have to use bot, but I have to use bot since I'm in another file. So we got the message. We need this message in here. There is an important thing we'll be using this. The message that we're going to delete is going to be message. So this is very important. So let's just say we want to get the channel of the message. We're going to first of all get the channel, that ID. And then instead of the channel, we're just going to go ahead and get the content. So whenever you use content in our code uh, for in the snipe.js command, it's going to go ahead and give us the message.content. So the content of the message that was deleted. And whenever we use the author, it's going to give us the author.tag. And whenever we set member, it's going to be message.member. These are some basic stuff. And then whenever, whenever we're trying to ask for the image, uh, we usually do that because we're trying to get the author of the person, you know, the person who actually deleted that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is how you can go ahead and get the snipes. But the problem is you just have to also make a collection at the same time. So for the making a collection, because you made an event, but we set the snipes in a bot, uh, you know, parameter. We just have to go ahead and now give it a collection. So for doing that, we just have to go ahead and simply, as you can see, I have a new collection here. I'm going to go ahead and copy one of the examples here. And there we go. We got the bot that, um, let's just call this one um, snipes since we're using snipes in message delete event, as you can see, but the snipes. And when we use bot, the snipes going to be new discord dot collection. So once we've done this, we're basically done. So we just have to go ahead and now using the collection that we got in here, use the bot that is snipe. So whenever we use the bot snipes, you know, this is going to happen. We're going to go ahead and use Discord since we're going to use Discord on this code because we're trying to send an embed whenever someone does the message. And then we're going to go ahead and tell the bot. So whenever we use the MSG in our code, 
is gonna go ahead and refer to bot.snipes.get so remember we set this so now we set this but we are trying to get it if you understand what i mean we also can want the message the channel that id the channel that we did this basically the message the channel that basically yeah um and then so whenever we use the command snipe in our channel then it will get the channel id from that so we're just gonna go ahead and now whenever we use message it's gonna do that so we simply just have to look at the samples here we need to make an embed so we're gonna do it const embed is equal to new discord dot message embed so and then we're just gonna go ahead and set the author for example the author will be the person who did it so who person who actually deleted the message so my bad so we're just gonna go ahead and first say the message that author which we have to use author we means message that author tag we have to make sure it is author and we also make sure that we always set it in here message that member that user that display avatar url so it will show a little bit of icon near the embed so it will actually look pretty great in my opinion the person who actually did it so that's the way dankimer does it so we're just gonna also do the mess that set description since we're trying to um you know show who, you know but what the message content was so we're just gonna do message.content so if, if you remember i'm not sure if you guys remember that but um if you go here you will see we use uh the content as message.content we already get that so we just have to use content here we don't have to do anything else and then with the last thing we're gonna do is very simple we just have to go ahead and um you know set mm, let's just go it's just a personal preference here you don't have to really do anything here we can also set the footer um, which is gonna set the timestamp. So, um, I mean, you can't put anything customized here, or like, for example, get sniped, whatever. And then we also can set the timestamp. So, let's just say timestamp. You're done. So, we just have to go ahead and do a message that cannot send. And it's gonna send the embed. As simple as that. So, now we are basically done. We just have to go ahead and run the bot. Uh, we got some problems. Can I find out this with the gist? I haven't installed it, my bad, because I was actually making a new project. Let's just go ahead and run the bot. There should be, yeah, bot is online. So let's just go ahead and go to the proxy productions. And uh, I mean, that's basically my test server. So so here we are. I'll give the bot the permission needed. So also, you have to make sure that the bot has the permission to delete the messages and stuff like that. Let's make sure that the permissions you won't have any problems. So let's just go ahead and um, first, you have to make sure that whenever you send a message, and the bot is not online and then you delete it it will not actually catch it since the bot does not running basically so whenever i send a message and the bot is offline and then delete it uh, it won't actually show whenever you use the command when the bot comes online so you just have to make sure the bot is online and then delete the message so we have the one two three delete the message and then now we just have to go ahead and do snipe there we go we got a snipe and easy as that pretty simple so you got the everything needed and um if there is some misunderstandings then don't worry about it you just have to go ahead and comment down below if there was any um that's basically it i think we got a snipe command and um yeah if there is anything else you guys don't understand comment down below join your disco server um i will help a lot of people on my disco server as well yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys and uh, i hope i will see you next video guys peace out this is ashcraft i'm out I don't know what I'm doing! Ah! Shit! 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 Fuck me! Fuck me!